So what exactly are the key stats to evaluating a starting pitcher, or a pitcher in general? Well, most people look at these two things right here. Here's an example. Wins ERA. Uh, the example would be 12 wins, a 302 ERA. Sounds like the pretty standard way of looking at a pitcher. Throw that away. We don't want to look at ERA. We don't want to look at wins. They really don't tell us what kind of a pitcher the said person is. To really look at pitching, and starting pitching in particular for this video, we're going to talk about something called FIP and XFIP. These two stats take into account a lot of other factors that really measure how well a person does on the mound. So what exactly do FIP and XFIP tell you? It gives you a lot more of an insight than what ERA would. FIP stands for Fielding Independent Pitching, and it takes into account several different stats that ERA does not. First of all, if you look at the formula here, 13 times home runs plus 3 times base on balls plus hit by pitch minus 2 times the number of strikeouts divided by the innings pitch plus the constant. So far this year, the constant is 3.13. XFIP, or Expected Fielding Independent Pitching, takes into account the league's fly ball and home run ratios. To calculate XFIP, 13 times fly balls times the league average of home runs divided by fly balls plus 3 times base on balls plus hit by pitch minus 2 times strikeouts divided by innings pitch plus the constant. ERA really only tells you two things. The amount of runs given up, and also the amount of innings that those runs were given up in. He gives up so many runs and so many innings. A pitcher is pitching and he has many different fielders behind him. Some with good range, some with not so good range. Some ballparks are big, some ballparks are small. Wrigley Field, for example. You look at the wind blowing in versus the wind blowing out. The conditions are different. So we're going to look at four of the Cubs starting pitchers. Now these four pitchers are the ones that have pitched since opening day. John Lester, Jake Arrieta, Jason Hamill, Kyle Hendricks. This chart has statistical data from all the Cubs pitchers who made starts this year. The ones highlighted in orange are the ones we're going to be talking about because they have started since opening week. As you can see, the first three columns of the chart have three stats. ERA, FIP, and XFIP. The reason ERA is on this chart is for sake of educational purposes and seeing how you can compare ERA to FIP and XFIP. John Lester has a FIP of 3.55 and an XFIP of 3.37. Jake Arrieta has a FIP of 2.2 and an XFIP of 2.67. Jason Hamill has a FIP of 3.01 and an XFIP of 3.06. Kyle Hendricks has a FIP of 3.43 and an XFIP of 3.74. So right now, the FIP leader of the Cubs is Jake Arrieta. In second place is Hamill, third is Kyle Hendricks, and then fourth is John Lester. So to do an overall recap of this video, FIP and XFIP are what ERAs should look like compared to what they do look like. These two stats take in a lot more factors than ERA does, not all position players and not all ballparks are alike. Conditions weather-wise are also different too. If you're pitching in Petco Park, the place where hitters go to die, pitchers can get a lot more luck compared if they played at Great American Ballpark, which is very hitter-friendly. By using FIP and XFIP, these two stats will tell us how a pitcher really pitches and what opposing offenses do to them. 